New technology is making it possible to detect breast cancer earlier than ever before. On average, by the time doctors can detect a breast tumor, it's been growing for about eight years. Mm -hmm. Some doctors are now using an alternative to mammography. They say it can detect cancer cells at least a year earlier than a mammogram. WSOS 10's Rachel Lucas met with clinicians from Image of Health who use thermography, which they say is safer and more reliable. That's the secret to everything, right? Make a change before we have a disease. Without a cure, early detection is the best defense against breast cancer. Clinician Marilyn McClellan travels around the state offering an FDA-approved screening that studies show can detect cancerous cells at least a year earlier than mammograms. MRIs, ultrasounds, mammograms, they're all looking for a lump. They're looking for a structural change. Well, there are changes that happened before that. McClellan says it takes one cancer cell about eight years to become a tumor. In that seven-year growth period, there's an increase in blood flow. Like this cluster of cells needs more food, and the breast makes extra blood vessels. It's called angiogenesis, and that actually helps feed these cells to grow it into a tumor. And that's what we're looking for. Those cancer cells produce more heat than normal cells. The process to detect the heat is called thermography. The test is simple and painless. Patients stand in front of this small sensor, which takes heat measurements in the breasts. We don't want to be the just get a test and wait until something happens. Producing an image for doctors to review that looks like this. This image potentially saved a patient's life. Thermography shows cancer cells highlighted in red in this picture. It was something a mammogram didn't pick up. McClellan says thermography is a preferred option for patients who want to avoid radiation from mammograms. You sit about two to three feet in front of the sensor, so there's no, there's no damage at all, no risk. Um, I've imaged as young as a 10-month-old baby and as old as a 91-year-old woman. A service normally offered in larger cities is now offered in this mobile office in southwest Virginia six times a year. In Bedford, Rachel Lucas, WSLS 10. Rachel did learn today most insurance policies do not cover thermography, but HSA and flex plans do. A visit costs about $250. For more information on thermography and how you can make an appointment, just visit WSLS.com. And we want to remind you, Susan G. Coma's Race for the Cure is coming up on April the 9th. WSLS 10 is a proud sponsor of the event. Our very own Don Jeffries will MC. 75% of the money raised during the event stays right here in Southwest Virginia for breast cancer screenings, education, and treatment. 25% goes to national research.